I did not visit a KTV. Um, I was just going, heading to work on a Sunday morning at like 10.55 a.m. And I think it was on the train. Uh, and you know, I got into close contact with someone that had COVID-19, I think. It's a probable COVID-19 or yeah. Um, it's at Holiday in Katong. I think I got a short end of the stick here. I don't know. My auntie has, my auntie is under quarantine too, and she went to Sentosa. It's okay. Um, apart from the aircon not working, and the constant buzzing of my neighbor's phone, this is quite a comfortable place to be. I even have a queen size bed. Okay, time for a quick room tour. Here's the view out the window. It's not bad. Nice clouds today. Um, I think if it was the other side of this hotel, you might I might be able to see the sea. Uh, what else? Queen size bed. This little sofa thingy over here. Uh, not bad, I guess. My bag and yeah, my tech equipment. Actually, it's just charges. Actually, just one charger and many cables. Okay. Uh, it's a small little TV, maybe like thirty-two inch. Uh, rubbish. I ordered McDonald's last night, and they give you this nice little desk for you to do your stuff. Uh, the key. Milo was Milo and snacks, mirror, GoPro section mount does not come with the hotel, <laughs> and the snacks that I bought. Top tip if you're under quarantine, actually, bring as much snacks as possible. You know, I'm, I look dumb as shit carrying two bags to the hotel when everyone's carrying like one but little did they know that they're gonna get hungry so bring as much snacks as possible okay especially cup noodles and also take a look at my fridge oh yes i brought milo uh, chocolate and this one is uh, complimentary from the hotel catering uh, I left my food up here because it's like the only place that's warm. There's no microwave in this room, so you just gotta put it on top of the fridge to keep it warm. This is the really funny thing, like when I first walked into the bathroom. Okay, um, this is just this stupid bottle that looks like piss. And <laughs> I really did not want to touch it. I was like, oh my god, that's so disgusting. And then I was like, uh, what is this? Deaning? Oh no, cleaning detergent. And a little packet of thing for you to sniff up your nose. Towels. Toothbrush that I brought myself. And... A shower. There's no bathtub. Uh, a little sad. I want that bathtub so at least I can chill doing nothing you know <laughs> spending my days here for the next week okay so many many hours have passed it's like the third day i've spent my time watching attack on titan and whatever but uh yeah not much has changed the food here is getting mm, getting boring yeah that's the word the food here is getting boring so i'm glad i brought my own snack uh yeah i have my chocolate bars cup noodles and stuff anyways this afternoon like a few hours ago uh someone came knocking on my door and i was like what the heck they kept knocking, so usually it's just food, right? They knock once, and that's it. But this guy like kept knocking. I was like, "Oh, food. some some delivery," and yeah, it's MOH. They have a, they had a present for me. This, <laughs> okay, uh, it's to track my whereabouts in the hotel room to make sure I don't go out. So does that mean I could have went out? <laughs> I have no idea, but yeah, it's just this little uh, tracker thing and this device. The one that you see here, this little black box, it's a transponder thingy, so if I leave the room, um, it will let them know 
that I've left the room. Okay, so it's my last day here. Time really flies when you're binging anime. And um, yeah, I just realized I didn't show you the food that, I, that has been catered to me. So um, here we go. Okay, so let's start with what they gave me for breakfast. It's this, um, I don't know what they call this. Like, I think it's Lao Su Mian, Mao's tail noodles, I think. Because the noodles are really short and whatnot. So this is breakfast. It's a smaller portion compared to lunch and dinner. And also they give like small, uh, I don't know, dim sum things. Next, we have today's lunch, which is pineapple rice. I think this is green curry chicken and some vegetables. This actually looks not bad, I think. Um, but yeah, it's all catering food and you don't get to choose. If you want to choose, uh, the hotel, this hotel actually provides some other alternatives for $10. Um, I haven't tried it. I don't think I will want to try it because it's $10 and, and I might as well just order grab food. But yeah, this is the food that we have every day. It's not the same thing every day, but it's the same style, right? Uh, rice and two other sides. As you can see, the food is nothing to write home about. But speaking of home, I am going home tomorrow. My quarantine order officially ends at 12pm, but I am not allowed to leave this premise until I've tested negative for my COVID PCR test. And the results will come later on that day. Um, so yeah, we'll see how and what time I'll leave this place. Finally, I am home. The checkout process was actually pretty easy. I just had to get my NRIC and yeah, they verified I am who I am and let me go. After all that's said and done, I reached home in the late afternoon and I have like half the day left, which is good, you know. Uh, I did not waste another full day being put in quarantine. All in all, I think it was a pretty interesting experience. I don't think I would call it fun. The food was okay and the Wi-Fi was bad. Like I cannot even load a 1080p video. So if you are watching this, like going into a quarantine, um, please like download all your Netflix shows and stuff. You know, you don't know how good how the Wi-Fi is and you cannot trust it. Anyways, that's all for this video. Hopefully you guys don't get quarantined and stay safe. Thanks for watching.